Okay, guys, uh, this course is called uh, Quintessential and what we're doing is essentially fighting with knives, yeah. which means you could apply a lot of this stuff empty hand tonight, or empty hand to empty hand. As well, uh, you could uh, use an improvised weapon with it. To start off, we're working off the basic figure eight uh, crafty lines, but we're modifying it. The basic crafty line, I'll just refer to her on good as group. She's here feeding, I can craft her here, or as she, since I have a craft, she'd be punching with the other hand. Right? And we can lock her up and cross her over as we did the other day. Again, she feeds with this hand, she can feed with the other hand. Again, like that. These are our basic trap lines, which that would be an entry, or that would be an entry. Right? Now we're modifying these a little bit. What we're doing is going to a circular figure eight. It would look like this. We consider this attack on this side. It feeds, right? It comes out of this quadrant. What I want to do is suck it in get close to this artery section and cut it, smack it out like that. If she were to feed the other one, I'd come, just like we did with the figure eight, but I get my draw cut. A draw cut is something you get upon receiving the knife back into one of your chamber positions. It could be off this half if I took that or she punched here. As I draw it back, that would be called a draw cut. It's particularly nasty with the edges. Again, she feeds, I scoop it, right? This comes, I scoop it. What I want everybody to do is have the edge familiarity where we can accomplish the same goals. Defending our life against this knife attacker with reverse grip, edge in or edge out, right? Those are, this is a primary grip, this is a primary grip. This is a secondary issue, whether the, uh, the edge is up or it's down, and again, edge up or down. This is considered a negative grip, this is considered positive. I want everybody and their partner drills to be able to accomplish this. As she feeds, I parry, I scoop and cut. As this comes in, again, I scoop it, and I cut, and I get a real deep cut through leather jacket or what have you. Again, if I was going with a traditional grip like this, she feeds, I could be here, it comes in, I scoop it. Now, if I was a reverse grip, head gel, like a lot of people play, I'm here, I cut, it comes in here, or edge in. The last one, I'm here, I'm here. I want everybody to be able to do this. The person feeding, as in Levon, she's just feeding out and feeding out like this. Again, you can see if this was broken up into four quadrants, this would be angle one, this would be angle two. We'll be using these a lot today. We'll be moving very quickly through a lot of material. So I want everybody to really pay attention and get this down. So get with your partner. Levon is the adversary. Again, right hand has knife, I'll scoop and cut. And this here, I'll scoop and I'll cut. Let's get fired up. We're all familiar with what we've been doing is based off of this figure eight pattern. Now we've got an empty hand versus length application to it. This is done with regular grip on our adversary. The bond feeds to me. Right? What I do is I pick it up just like before, I acquire the wrist, and I insert. At this point, since I have a lock, I'm going to make her pay for what she's done. Put her over her crew, and I feed it in the bed. So let's see if, if we reverse here. She feeds at angle one. Again, my right hand, I bait. This is attack by baiting, or counter attack by baiting. I'm giving her a high line based on the rope, right? I'm right here. We want to bend that wrist, feed it in, keep this person locked. Watch out for that right hand that she punches. I've got this, or I've got that, right? Raising this hand. But at this point, I have her. See? We're here. We lock it down. So, one more time. We'll just do the entry and then we can uh, follow up later. We're here. I want everybody to do this. On the left hand, she also has a knife. Again, I'm working off this right hand, this primary hand, which scoops in here. It will scoop it up. It'll scoop up the left hand as well, coming from over here. So I'm here, there's an eye tap, acquire. Now this is after a strong adversary. I mean, you've tried this army, they have their hands, their grip strength is too great. We want to play off the push-pull. So this is off of a stronger adversary who we've tried this army, but we can't. So what I want to do is secure it to me. Again, my arms, how much strength do I have? Well, not near as much as if I use hip power, right? 
So if I try and jam her, but I can't, she's too strong, what I'll do is pull. No one wants to lose a knife, right? As soon as they feel it being pulled, they try and bring it back to an area where they're strong. So I try, she resists, I pull, then I pump her, like that. Okay, disarm, feed it, pop the here, and again, destroy the enemy. So let's see it from the other side. Okay, she feeds. Again, this right hand is here, I jab, acquire, pull in, I'll try and guard. If she's resisting, then I'll pull it back, and she'll fight for that place, so I get it back to her. Keep this arm secure, wrap, lock, right? B. Okay, that's it. Number one again, it looks like this. Let's focus on this one. Here to the wrist. For those of you who got that, off, B, twirl, ah! Finish this adversary. The second line from this angle, look like this. This is feeding eye jack, right? Pop, pop, steal that leg. Pop. Lock down. 